Welcome back to TPS. To honor the best players in the league, every year the NFL announces their first and second team all pros. But how about honoring the old timers by naming an NFL all over 30 team? Guys like Tom Brady and Aaron Rodgers don't need recognition all the time, but there are so many other excellent ageless wonders that need to be noticed for their incredible play and longevity. We here at TPS decided it was time to give those senior citizens the recognition they deserve, so here we are. For this article, we're looking at players who are over the age of 30, so 31 plus. If a player is 30 on the dot heading into the 2019 season, they're not eligible. Apologies to J.J. Watt, Cam Newton, and Julio Jones, among others. And because the fullback position is practically extinct now, we decided to exclude it from the list. I'm Justin Frax, and today we present the NFL All Over 30 team. At TPS, we post videos every single day, so don't forget to click the subscribe button to subscribe. Then click the notification bell to be notified when we post a new video. And a huge shout out to the goons for suggesting this video list. We hope you enjoy it. If you do, leave your own ideas down below in the comments section. You never know, we might use one and give you a shout out. Offense quarterback Drew Brees. You probably want to see Brady on here, but we're not factoring in individual accomplishments. Brady had more passing yards on 81 more attempts, but Brees had a superior completion percentage and 32 touchdown passes against Brady's 29. Brees also sat out during Week 17, and yet only five quarterbacks had more TDs than him. If it weren't for Patrick Mahomes, Brees would have won the 2018 NFL MVP award. Nobody touches his completion rates, and he's got plenty of great football left. The all-time passing yards leader will only put that record even more out of reach in 2019. Wide receiver Antonio Brown AB has been the league's top wideout over the last five seasons, but now he goes from Ben Roethlisberger to Derek Carr. It's anybody's guess if he'll still put up all pro numbers or if Brown is going to finally regress. Six straight seasons of over 100 receptions and more than 1,000 receiving yards. His numbers may dip, but Brown remains one of the NFL's elite wideouts. No reason to believe that'll change as he enters his age 31 season. Wide receiver AJ Green. Take away the injury filled 2016 and 18 seasons, and the perennial pro bowler has hit 1,000 yards every year. Green showed few signs of slowing down in his age 30 season for the Bengals, which was another disaster. Quarterback Andy Dalton continues to regress, but Green keeps putting up terrific numbers anyway. Green remains one of the most consistent offensive playmakers. Maybe he'll slow down a bit in his age 31 season here. If he does, you can attribute it to the bad quarterback play. At any rate, he's still getting it done as he closes in on the 10-year mark of his career. Wide receiver Larry Fitzgerald He had one of the worst statistical seasons of his career, but that's expected when you're playing the wide-out position at age 35. And the awful quarterback play Fitzgerald had to deal with last season didn't help either. This man remains a true game-changer. He's still got incredible speed and catches just about everything. We're not sure if his stats will be good or bad under rookie QB Kyler Murray, but we're sure he'll put up at least solid number two wide-out numbers. Few wide receivers ever play at a high level once they reach their mid-30s. Fitzgerald is an exception. We wouldn't be surprised if he found the fountain of youth yet again as he enters what could be his final NFL season. Tight end Delaney Walker Rob Gronkowski is retired and Travis Kelsey is only entering his age 30 season. The best over the age of 30 tight end in the NFL is Delaney Walker of the Tennessee Titans. Walker emerged as a star after he joined the Titans in 2013. Here in Pro Bowl selections three straight years from 2015 to 17. Since joining Tennessee, he's recorded 800 plus receiving yards in four different seasons. He suffered an ankle injury in week one of 2018 and thus had to miss the rest of the season, but you know Walker will be back in full force for 2019. Expect another Pro Bowl caliber season from this vastly underrated star. Running back Adrian Peterson You don't see a lot of running backs play at a high level in their 30s anymore. Buffalo Bills star LaShawn McCoy fittingly had the worst season of his career in 2018. Should we mention it was his age 30 season? Meanwhile, Adrian Peterson, who looked washed up after a course 2017 season, completely turned back the clock in 2018. At the age of 33, he rushed for 1,042 yards and 7 touchdowns with the Washington Redskins. AP averaged a solid 4.2 yards per carry, so much for being done. The Redskins gave Peterson a two-year contract extension for his hard work. Can he remain the NFL's top running back over the age of 30 in 2019? Don't bet against it. Center, Jason Kelsey from six-round draft pick to a two-time Pro Bowler and Super Bowl 52 champion, life has been good for Philadelphia Eagles star Jason Kelsey. Kelsey seems to only get better with age two, who was a first-team All-Pro in 2017, his age 30 season, and in 2018 for a second time at the age of 31. Indeed, this is the best center over 30 in the NFL. Kelsey anchored the Eagles' elite offensive line that didn't give up a single sack in their Super Bowl 52 contest. 
If he plays like this a few more years, an induction to the Pro Football Hall of Fame is not of a question. Offensive tackle Jason Peters. More like the NFL All Over 35 team. Even as he enters his late 30s, Eagles tackle Jason Peters remains one of the league's elite offensive linemen. The nine time Pro Bowler, like Kelsey, played a vital role in helping the Eagles win Super Bowl 52. He's earned a pair of first team All Pro selections, too. Peters has slowed down a bit in age, but he's still getting it done as a top tier pass protector. Up next, the Pro Football Hall of Fame. Offensive tackle Joe Staley. Speaking of likely future Hall of Famers, Joe Staley has been a mainstay on the San Francisco 49ers offensive line for over a decade. He earned his sixth Pro Bowl selection in 2017 and continues to perform at a remarkably high level. Hopefully, he gets that well-deserved Super Bowl ring before he retires. Offensive guard Marshall Yonda. He's everything teams look for in an offensive lineman. The Baltimore Ravens legend earned his seventh Pro Bowl selection in 2018 at the age of 34. On top of that, the Super Bowl 47 champion is a two-time first-team All-Pro and four-time second-team All-Pro. Pro Football Focus graded him as the fourth best guard for 2018. Not bad at all. Father Time isn't undefeated after all. Offensive guard Roger Saffold. Saffold really seemed to turn a corner during the 2017 and 18 seasons with the Los Angeles Rams, helping them reach Super Bowl 53. Saffold's strong play helped him earn a four-year, $44 million contract from the Tennessee Titans and their O-mine is already one of the NFL's best. Saffold is going to take it to another level, just you watch. Special Teams Kicker Steven Gostowski Sorry Justin Tucker, you don't qualify for this list yet. And hey, Adam Vinatieri remains great at his age, but he's not quite elite for a kicker anymore. Entering the 2019 season, Patriots kicker Steven Gostowski had an 87.381 career field goal percentage, good for third best in NFL history. His clutch kicking in Super Bowl 53 was key as the Patriots escaped with a sloppy 13-3 victory. Three Super Bowls and four Pro Bowl selections, Gostowski has done a fine job replacing Vinatieri in Foxborough, wouldn't you say? Hunter Andy Lee If there's one punter who can earn some Hall of Fame consideration, it would be Andy Lee of the Arizona Cardinals. The three-time first-team All-Pro has been as reliable and consistent as they come for guys at the position. He has to put an end to the myth of punters not being athletes. And hey! He led the NFL in punting yards during the 2018 season. And hey, he averaged the most yards per punt at 48.6. Yeah, this guy is the ultimate definition of elite punter. Defense Defensive end, Kalei Campbell The 6'8", 300-pound Jacksonville Jaguar star always gets better as his career progresses. He tallied a career-best 14.5 sacks in 2017, his age 31 season, and registered 10.5 in 2018. Yeah. This guy remains one of the NFL's premier pass rushers, all right. Many of them tend to lose a step once they reach their early 30s. Somehow, Campbell just keeps getting better. The Jacksonville Jaguars will happily take that. Defensive end, Cameron Wake. Going from the CFL to the NFL rarely works out, but Cameron Wake has been quite the exception. Wake, who signed with the Titans in 2019 after spending a decade with the Miami Dolphins, has five seasons of double-digit sacks on his resume. Wake had 98 sacks over his 10 years in Miami with six Pro Bowl selections. He slowed down a bit in 2018, but he still performs very well for a player entering his age 37 season. Defensive tackle and Dominican Sue. Like many players at the position, Sue has regressed since entering his 30s, but the future Hall of Famer is still a rock solid run stopper and remains an effective pass rusher. It's just not quite Pro Bowl level anymore. Still, he played a big role in helping the Rams reach Super Bowl 53. Sue should be a nice fit for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, who released Gerald McCoy so they could pick him up. Five Pro Bowl selection speaks for itself. He's still a big time impact player. Defensive tackle, Geno Atkins. No, all great defensive tackles put up high sack numbers, but the Cincinnati Bengals standout sure does. Atkins has a trio of double digit sack seasons on his resume and five seasons with nine or more. The Bengals have been a mess over the last three years, but Atkins remains one of the NFL's elite defensive players. Don't let the state of organization fool you. This guy is still a superstar, and he's on plenty to warrant consideration for the Hall of Fame. Linebacker Thomas Davis The former Carolina Panthers star didn't earn his first Pro Bowl selection until he was 32. Talk about getting better as you get older. Davis won the NFL's top linebackers when it comes to coverage, displayed his resilience and toughness when he played in Super Bowl 50 with a broken arm. PFF's numbers show he just isn't elite anymore, but Davis is still a difference maker on defense, and the LA Chargers found themselves a nice bargain when they added him in free agency. Linebacker Ryan Kerrigan He's one of the few bright spots in the frustrating Washington Redskins team. Kerrigan is among the most complete athletic do-it-all linebackers in the NFL right now. Kerrigan has reached double-digit sacks in four of the past five seasons. He's recorded 13 plus three times. Kerrigan earned his fourth Pro Bowl selection in 2018. What else do you want from this guy? 
linebacker Terrell Suggs. In a surprise move, Suggs left the Baltimore Ravens and signed with the Arizona Cardinals in free agency. It was a wonderful pickup for the Redbirds. Suggs is among the best old guys in the NFL. He's obviously lost some steps since entering his age 36-37 season, but Suggs is still getting it done as a pass rusher, all while wrecking havoc in the middle of the field. Most linebackers are done by 35 these days, but Suggs is still a game changer. He's a surefire Hall of Famer, folks. Try to enjoy what could be his final NFL season, even if he's dominating against your team. Cornerback Kareem Jackson Most of today's cornerbacks are under 30 years of age now, but Kareem Jackson turned in a tremendous age 30 campaign for the Houston Texans in 2018. For PFF, he allowed zero receiving touchdowns, and he was their fourth-ranked corner for the season. Jackson's excellent season landed him a three-year, $33 million deal with the Denver Broncos. Oh, and how scary he and Chris Harris Jr. could be as a duo. Cornerback Aqib Tlaib Tough call between Tlaib, Richard Sherman, and Jason McCourty. The latter hasn't been that great in his entire career, however, and Sherman's production dropped down significantly in 2018. But Aqib Tlaib, who missed a large chunk of 2018 with an ankle injury, remains a very good corner in today's NFL. At the age of 32, he's still producing at a high level for the Los Angeles Rams. He's not quite the elite shutdown corner that we saw with the Denver Broncos for four years, but in most corners at his age aren't. He was consistently ranked as one of PFF's top five corners while in the Mile High City. He was vital in the Broncos Super Bowl 50 championship season. If he stays healthy, the leap could earn a sixth Pro Bowl selection in 2019. Strong safety, Malcolm Jenkins. Like other people on this list, Jenkins has just gotten better as his career has progressed. He earned a third Pro Bowl selection in 2018, his 8 30 31 season. Jenkins has won Super Bowls with both the Saints and Eagles, and he's building up an interesting case to possibly get into the Hall of Fame. Not impossible, folks. Jenkins has earned a spectacular 79.6 grade from PFF in 2018. He had one interception, eight passes defended, and 97 combined tackles. He remains the leader on Philly's defense, and Jenkins will help them compete for more Super Bowls while he remains in his prime. Free safety, Eric Weddle. Will Father Time ever hit the future Hall of Famer? Probably not. At the age of 33, Weddle earned his sixth Pro Bowl selection in 2018. As leader of the NFL's best secondary, Weddle helped the Baltimore Ravens win the AFC North Division title as well. Weddle is one of the greatest cover safeties in NFL history. Those 29 career interceptions through 2018 don't seem like much, but it's because quarterbacks know how to not throw the ball his way. Simple as that. The Ravens surprisingly released Weddle in the 2018 offseason before signing fellow Pro Bowl safety Earl Thomas. Weddle landed with the Los Angeles Rams as a free agent. Perhaps this ageless wonder will win the one thing that's missing on his Hall of Fame resume, a Super Bowl. Which other players would you add to the NFL All-30 team? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section down below. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you guys next time.